while making love, a necklace broke. It was a seven string pearl necklace and one whole row of pearls fell and scattered everywhere. One sixth of the pearls fell to the floor. One fifth fell upon the bed. The young woman managed to save one third of them and one tenth were caught by her lover. If by now only six pearls remain upon the string, how many pearls were there altogether? Now, that's a maths question, as you can tell. And it comes from a text called Leelavati. Leelavati means the playful girl. But before I ask you to give me the answer to the question, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this book. So Leelavati, as I mentioned, is a maths book. It was written in the 12th century, in around 1150 AD, by a very famous mathematician called Bhaskaracharya. And he wrote it for his daughter, who by chance was called Leelavati. Now, I'll tell you why I think this book is so cool. One, because he wrote it for his daughter. But second, and even more importantly, he says that she's at that stage in her life when her mind is filled with thoughts of romance. All she can think about is spring coming and boys and young love and so on. Where is she going to find the concentration to focus on her studies? And so he adapts the vocabulary of his questions to suit her mindset. He actually puts out the questions in language that appeals to her in, the, in her thoughts as they are at that point in time. Now, I think that is really cool. You know, we have always adapted vocabulary to suit age groups. So when kids are very young, we say, we'll teach them to count through teddy bears. If they get a little bit older, we say, okay, let's now count with candy or chocolate. But at no stage has anybody ever said, young teens, their hormones are up. This is all they're thinking about. Let's adapt the vocabulary to suit their mindset because of course, the idea of romance in young people is taboo. Not so in ancient India. Their main aim was learning should take place. And it comes from one of the 64 skills of the Kama Sutra, which says that all young men and women must develop an expertise in word puzzles and number puzzles because intelligence makes you sexy. Knowledge, intelligence, and self-development make you sexy. So this week, I want you to add a couple of things to your life. The first one is, I want you to figure out the answer to this question and respond to me here in the comments section. And every day this week, I am going to be posting a question from Leelavati want to warn you, it's not going to be easy because even though the language is all about romance, this is actually a very serious maths book. There's nothing frivolous or easy about it. So every day I will be posting a question from Leelavati and I will be waiting for your answers. And the second thing is, I want you to add a new brain game to your everyday routine. Anything. It can be Scrabble, it can be Sudoku, it can be crossword puzzles, but the condition is that it has to be something new, not something that you're doing already pick something new and start to do it every single day. And by the end of the week, you will notice that not only has it sharpened your brain, but it will increase your concentration levels. You know how much our concentration levels have suffered through lockdown, through all this inactivity. This is your short term and surefire remedy to increase your concentration levels. Treat it as a form of meditation. And now, Wait for the question to come up at the end of the video and I'm waiting for your answers.